um, destroy a little bit because it, the, the problem that Napoli had at the start of the season. He deemed fit enough for the bench. On the plus side, Rhys Mertens has been past fit enough. Ashley Young, by the way, seeks to become the first Englishman's previous ties to reach the Coppa Italia semi finals. 122 days since the first leg of this tie. It is brilliant to have Coucho back this weekend, and this a match that promises much in Naples. Two of Italian football's biggest names involved here. Let's hope that they can put on a show for us. Of these clubs seeking to reach a Coppa Italia final. For a couple in the Coppa Italia. Over the head of him, it's snuck in, and Inter have taken the lead direct from the corner kick. Dreadful defending confusion at the back from Napoli, and Inter have the perfect start in this second leg. Only three minutes gone, and Christian Eriksen seems to score his first goal on Italian soil. Or is it an own goal, a glancing head there from number 12, Elmas? We'll wait for confirmation, but certainly it is Napoli nil into one. Ospina can't be blamed. Looked like it just touched Elmas. Record in this competition, they've won seven of their last eight Coppa Italia matches before the season suspension had been badly missed. As he claims that confident, lovely ball as Martinez makes his way into the middle. Seeing a foul there on Nikola Maximovic. The FA Cup wins for these clubs directly before the season suspension. Here is Cam Draver but onto that left foot and has a go. Certainly had Ospina concerns. But in better shape before the season suspension. by Bastoni, it's Dries Mertens for Napoli, into the wall and Mertens will try again. Eriksson decides to drive one, and comfortable save for Ospina. The greatest of balls though to Handanovic, who's played himself into trouble but there was a slip there from Mertens. And Inter, they're almost the architects of their own downfall. Prevented from getting to that by Koulibaly and Eriksson's header. Sliced off target by Brozovic. Mertens turns beautifully and looks to try and bend one. And now Kandreva with Martinez waiting in the middle. Cut out by... Elmas. Important intervention that by the Macedonian international. Kamdreva hit it first time and Eriksson said her and Lukaku helped it on. And worth reminding you that we have to get a result tonight but there wouldn't be any extra. Back it goes to Young again. And Lukaku's had a good save by Ospina. That one on target. Oh, no, then we come up for the Dutch international, De Vrij. His ghost games, Mertens. And looks to Ben one, but he's not found his range just yet tonight. Certainly received the ball in space. Looking to use Bastoni to bend it into that top. Draver has got Martinez and Eriksson. Well decided to go alone. He had so many options to pick from in the box. And when he decided to have a go himself, he surely had to score because there's a pull back. Can he hold off the challenge? He's played the pass. Great ball. And they've equalized. And Dries Mertens 
becomes Napoli's all-time top scorer. What a game. What an occasion in which to achieve that. Gattuso turns on the night and now lead on aggregate. The swiftest of counter-attacks, led by Insignia, and finished off. All that from the goalkeeper. Problem here for Aku. Young won't reach that. Kulibaly guidedly bringing that slender advantage back to Naples. It was wiped out after... Remember his history-making rematch with Deontay Wilder in Las Vegas. Um, I think uh, Conte, in some respects, has some experience. Lukaku that's posed Ospina and Napoli some problems. Mm. Now, they will have felt a little aggrieved into to go in. Mitch. And Brozovic will take it on, and there's his shot. And he fizzes over the cross towards Insigne, who looks to get on the turn. And did so brilliantly, but it's just wide from Lorenzo Insigne. Arrived a little late in the box, didn't he? They hadn't picked him up. Eriks, can he pick a pass here? Decided to have a go himself. It was never going to trouble Ospina. Can be a force to be reckoned with. Between the last game in Italy and the match that we saw last night. Forward in support, not much else on though for Insigne. Who decides to go alone? Hello, Brozovic. Lofted in towards Romano Lukaku, who just got Elmas, the man who makes way for Fabian Ruiz, whose moments of. Fabian Ruiz allowed to carry on here by the referee. Advantage was played. Mertens. Insigne. Ancelotti went in mid December, an hour after Ancelotti going into his second campaign with the key edition of Manolas. That is up on the far side. We'll probably know we have every Bundesliga game between now and the end of the season live all taken off and Victor Moses brought on. Tata Martinez withdrawn here and Alexis Sanchez brought on in fighting for survival they host title chasing Bayern as we see at home so Alexis Sanchez takes it on and fires not too far wide as we approach the final 15 minutes here certainly half a chance he made it for himself didn't he Alexis Sanchez had to take a couple of touches to work the room for Hit by Eriksson, who certainly drove that with pace towards goal, saved by Ospina. Such a long way out that he decided to take that on. Christian Eriksson, Moses, on the half volley from Biragi, way off target, but the whistle had already gone. Couple in the Coppa Italia. Over the head of him, it's snuck in. And into a take of the lead direct from the corner kick. Dreadful defending confusion at the back from Napoli. And Inter have the perfect start in this second leg. Only three minutes gone, and Christian Eriksen seems to score his first goal on Italian soil. Or is it an own goal? A glancing head there from number 12, Elmas. We'll wait for confirmation, but certainly it is Napoli nil into one. Ospina can't be blamed. Looked like it just touched. El Can he hold off the challenge? He's played the pass. Great ball. And they've equalised. And Dries Mertens becomes Napoli's all-time top scorer. What a game. What an occasion in which to achieve that. Gattuso turns on the night and now lead on aggregate. The swiftest of counter-attacks, led by Insignia and finished off.